my fellow Trojans. Today we are starting a new campaign. All right, so we're going to be playing a new Rome 2 campaign with Divided and Para along with our Rome campaign. All right, simply simply being because I've been doing Warhammer 3 and you guys don't really enjoy it as much. And I think that's also because, you know, the algorithm really doesn't favor me. There's a lot of other big YouTubers doing it and it's just everyone's doing it. Everyone's covering it. So, you know, I'm going to stick to my original roots and I'm just going to do historical content for you guys along with, you know, the Dawnless Days and stuff like that. Maybe further down the line, I'll do some Warhammer 3. And personally, I think there's a lot of bugs with Warhammer 3. Um, I think it could be a very good game, you know, once they come out with some more patches and uh, some more um, updates. Simply being because... Honestly, me personally, I think that the battle campaign or the in the battle map it's super slow. Um, the units get jumbled up with each other and they kind of get like stuck together, and the cavalry moves slow and it's just I don't don't really I'm not really feeling it. You know, I mean multiplayer battles are they're all right I guess, but the campaign just yeah isn't doing it for me. And I'm I've always been a fan of historical total war. So I mean maybe that's me being biased and my preference. I'm not really quite sure. Um, so yeah, we're gonna be doing a super cool campaign, guys. We're gonna be playing as Glacia. All right. So you guys follow me on Reddit. Go to my Reddit. You can see that I made a personal campaign where uh, I was playing as the Galatians and I conquered, you know, pretty much. Excuse me. The Seleucids, Egypt. Um, and then I ended up, after that screenshot, I took North Africa. And then I was moving on Rome itself. I was just ready to move on Rome and Sicily and then move on Rome. And uh, it's a super great campaign. The Galatians have a super well-rounded roster. Yes, not a lot of units, but when there comes to area of recruitment units, you know, that, that is in DEI, um, you can actually get a lot of cool armies a lot of cool you know combinations that make up the armies you could have like Cappadocian lancers with Galatian chosen swordsmen with like elephants and Syrian archers like it's just OP it's it's super cool it's like an alternative kind of history you know I created a Celtic Empire in the East and I, I really enjoyed it I haven't been captivated by a campaign like I did with that one so I decided you know with all the good feedback I got from reddit I'm gonna make content on this. I'm gonna make a campaign. We're gonna go back to our grassroots. We're just gonna be doing historical total war. All right, and the Dawnless Days, of course. So that's just me, again, coming out of the decision saying, hey, I get more watch time. I get more feedback from you guys. Um, I get more comments. I get more you know, likes from you guys doing Rome 2 DEI and, and instead of this new total war game. So we're gonna do that because what I'm doing is for you it is for you my fellow trojans to make good content for you to enjoy and to just share my love of these games with you all um and also i would like to make a big public service or public announcement um may god be with any of you that are in ukraine uh the world stands with you all right the free democratic world stands with you all and may god be with you and fight on and you guys are definitely an inspiration of patriotism and the fight for democracy. Okay. So, usually I don't get into stuff like that, but you know, every other YouTuber is doing it and I have to voice my support in this case. All right. So, we're going to be playing as Galatia. We're going to be playing on hard simply because it already is a really hard starting off position and DEI already makes it hard as is. So, we're going to go into our faction traits. Well, just being Gauls, we get plus one experience rank for Gaul at Calvary Recruits. And we get the Opita increased immigration to capitals. Price of freedom. This is special faction traits. Price of freedom increased captives income. Plunders increased income from raiding and sacking. Hindered development. Ooh, increased construction times. Ooh, not good. All right, let's go ahead and where are the other options? Okay, military victory, capture all these places. Okay, 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 okay. Probably go for a military victory, to be honest, or we're just going to play it until we don't want to play it anymore. And we create a massive uh, Celtic Empire. Let's get it.
settling far from your ancestral Okay, mountains. I'll let you guys pause that and read that if you want. We got an objective issued. Completely control two provinces either by direct ownership or through military allies. We get plus 2,500 in our treasury if we complete this. Okay, so this is kind of a difficult starting position. Obviously, we only have Gordian here. We only have our walled opium. So the way I kind of play this is I try to take out Lydia and also make sure to eye Cappadocia because they do have iron. So we're going to go ahead and get some more spearmen, some more swordsmen because we do have a lot of money. And then we'll get one more calf. So that's going to be four turns to build that army. We're just going to have to go through those turns super fast and uh, then we'll start with the action. So advanced saddle, we're going to do that. We're going to research that real quick. It'll get us meeting ground, stables, war games, and war horse breeder. Plus negative 5% agent recruitment costs, minus 2% recruitment costs for all army units. All right, let's go ahead and look at our diplomacy really quick. Uh, we could try to get friendly with some of these guys. Probably won't happen though. Greetings, my friend. You have All right, we got a trade agreement with Sinop. That's that's good. That kind of secures our northern border. We can start to kind of focus on going south. And the Seleucids will eventually be busy dealing with, you know, Egypt and all that stuff. And these new things that they added onto the campaign map, like controlling, you know, the Alexand or Alexandrian Library, you know, the pyramids and stuff like that, it gives you a lot of good wealth bonuses and a lot of good commercial bonuses and a lot of good economic bonuses. So we're going to go ahead and try to capture those if we can. All right. Because as you know, as a barbarian faction, you don't always get the uh, best economic buildings. All right, we're going to go ahead and end the turn. And guys, um, I'm going to start working a lot, right? So, and there might be times where I'm gone for two weeks at a time or maybe even more. So I would really appreciate it, you know, if you guys could still stick with me and show your support. Um, I mean, there's nothing I could do about it. I still got about a year and six months left in my current job. So please just bear with me on that i do apologize i will try to record some content to release and schedule release during those weeks or days that i am gone uh, but mostly i'm just recording on the weekends right so all right we're just gonna go ahead and end turn again because we just gotta wait until this army builds up actually let's recruit some agents really quick we're gonna go ahead and get a spy hmm Let's do this one. Let's do Prito. Okay, and we're also going to get a chieftain or a dignitary. Public order is an issue with the Galatians, so we're going to do that. We'll go with uh, Venodotia. All right. That kind of drags our money down a little bit, but we can take it. Alright, so we're still recruiting. Alright, cool. Let's go ahead and end the turn. But yeah, guys, like I said, like I just... There's nothing I can do about it. I do... Um, right now, I'm just recording on the weekends. I can record a couple parts, you know, to release... During the week, I mean, I was uploading about once every week. Oh, wow. Ouchie. Oh, well. Well, I was releasing like one video a day. No longer can do that. Oh, ouch. They don't like us. That's fine. We don't like you either. But yeah, I was releasing like one video a day. Um, I just can't do that anymore. I'm working about 12 hour days now. So yeah, just try to bear with me on that. I know a lot of professional YouTubers, you know, they can record every day, but us little guys like us, you know, we got full-time jobs and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and send our spy down. I'm going to check out Kalene down here. I'm going to go check out Lydia, see what they're up to. I'm going to go ahead and deploy our chieftain into an administration position. We're going to go ahead and send our champion down for some military training and our king Magurix. Magurix. Mag Magurix's army. Yeah, Magurix. It's a cool name. Alright, probably should get recruit one more unit as well. So we're gonna go ahead and get let's get a Galatian archer. 
All right, so who are you at war with Cappadocia? You're at war with Pontus. Okay, well, if they can go and we're going to end our trade agreement with them. No, we're going to have to wait two turns. Okay, well, we're going to wait for them to send their army out, and then we're going to go in and be sneaky and take Mizaka. So let's go ahead and end the turn. Let's try. That will secure three towns in this province, and then Egypt, which I usually leave them alone. You know, I kind of just control these three settlements in Cappadocia and Galatia because I don't really want to go to war with the Seleucids and Egypt, you know, the two big successor powers. So we'll probably just leave it like that. Oh, uh, well, they ended it for us, so that's that's awesome. Nobody likes us. But usually this is how it goes in the early part of the game. You know, you have to try to find your friends. All right, one more turn, and our army's going to be ready to move on Lydia. They are recruiting an army, but they only have two units in there, so it's not too worrying at all. All right. Yep, yep. That's a decent little army we got going here. All right, let's try to just get some of these trade agreements back, see if they will do it. I am here to listen. Doesn't look like they will. Be welcome. Ooh. Yeah, I'll pay you for it, Pontus. That's cool. I want to be friends with you anyways. Alright. Let's go ahead and... Let's go right here. And let's steal some food. That's a cool thing. If you're out and have some issues with some food, just get some spies. Deploy them in enemy settlements and enemy regions and then just steal their food. And it also builds up their skills and experience. It's pretty cool. What do they got here? They got some companion cavalry. Oh no. Oh no. Drink some coffee. You know, when we first started recording, it was kind of hard for me to find my recording self. Uh, I'm definitely finding myself, for sure. I hope you guys uh, enjoy my commentary. Uh, I do have ADHD, if you guys have not noticed. Uh, uh, alrighty. Well, Kalane is about to fall. Now we just gotta wait for Cappadocia to get out of there. Uh, declare war! Alright, well, uh, that's not even worrying me because the Seleucids are gonna be troubled with the Egyptians, I believe. Oh, you tried to have our, our you know, fellow kinsmen fight with you, huh? Well, that's not going to happen. We're just going to auto-resolve at a balanced stance. Take them out. We're going to occupy. We're going to get out. Can't really recruit anything as of right now. It's fine. Let's go ahead and convert these settlements. Make sure you got food when you play as the Galatians. That's a big problem. All right, let's keep sending our spy over into Lydia. See what's going on. Pergamon, you're at war with them too, so let's form an alliance, like at least get on good relations, because if we're both at war with uh, the Seleucids, you know, they could be a really good ally for us. Um, they're, like I said, they're busy, they're going to be at war with all these nations, and eventually Egypt's going to be going to war with them as well. Obviously they're not at war with them yet, but they're at war with Pergamon, Parthia, Nabatea, us, the Kurdi. Asgarta and Hagar, so the Arabians and some of their subject states rebelled. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and end the turn. I am the fist of the goddess. Okay. Ooh, research queen advanced saddle. Magurix has a skill also. That's awesome. Okay. And our champion. Okay, we'll get you partisan and champion because that helps with movement, campaign movement map range quite a lot. Oh, actually, he doesn't have a skill. That's sad. 
Okay, well, let's get closer to Cappadocia. Let's see. We need our spy. Come here. We need to see where they're at. Let's try to go up here and recruit some more troops while we're at it. Oh, uh, we can't yet. Okay, well, let's get some archers. And public order is an issue, like I said, with Palatia. It just happens. Technology. Let's go and start recruiting some civil development. Let's go ahead... Let's get the craft specialization. Pergamon, I hope you succeed in all your endeavors. We need to be close friends, me and you. What if I gave you money for defensive alliance? Boop, boop. Yep, yep. Got a defensive alliance with Pergamon. That's what's up. All right, we're going to end the turn. Oh, oh Magurix has the same name as our king. That's why. That was weird. Okay, we'll do administrator, do econo economist. A lot of the wealth from Galatia comes from agriculture. So their agriculture buildings do have a do makes a lot more than you know like Rome or our Seleucid friends. And I believe also there's a couple good economic buildings. Like a grain trader. I'm sorry, I can't I can't go to war with that person just yet, my friend. Hopefully you don't break the alliance. Actually, I probably could. I, next time they ask, I'll accept. I mean, they're so far away. What are they going to do? What are they going to do? Okay. Well, king's replenishing. That's good. As you can see, we're having some public order difficulties. There's nothing you can do about that. That's just Galatia for you. So we're going to come up here. We're going to recruit two more swordsman units. Those are uh, pretty much our bread and butter for right now. And I believe we can recruit one more. We'll get another archer. So we'll have 16 units. And our economy is starting to suffer when it comes to income. But eventually, you know, they're going to move against each other. And we'll just end up taking them out. All right. All right. <laughs> Bithnia, you like us? Yeah, trade answer, agreement. We'll Starting to get some friends over here in this little corner of uh, Asia Minor. We Greeks are a realistic folk. Uh, no, I'm not paying you for that. This is not All amazing. right. Well, they're at war with Egypt now, so that's good. They're going to be distracted. What about Egypt? You you want to be friends? No. Okay, forget you then. I understand. I uh, see how it is these little poor Celtic farmers you know you want to take our mercenaries for your royal guard but you don't want to be friends with the actual mother or the fatherland whatever I see how it is you're too good for us I believe we hit 350 subscribers my friends Feels great. I appreciate all the support. I really do. And for you OGs that have been commenting and you know showing support on the comments, much love to you all. Really appreciate it. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put our king into a patrol stance, simply because it helps with the replenishment rate and our public order is starting to suffer. I really gotta learn how to turn this off. I'm gonna go take a look at that for next part. Alright. We probably should go look at her politics. I mean, they're all happy. Let's get you some wives, though, you know, so you can continue your lines. You know, that's probably needed. Alright, there you go. They're happy. Alright, cool. We're gonna end the turn. It turns fast here at the beginning of the game. It's not very eventful. I do apologize. Um, but once we start going to war with the Seleucids and going into Syria. And all that good stuff, it's going to get extremely, extremely, extremely hectic. And it's going to be full of battles. Very difficult battles, too. A lot of people commented on my Reddit and was like, well, this is a difficult faction to play. And I said, yes, it definitely is. Ooh, non-aggression pact with Rodos. See, we're getting good friends, guys. Like, honestly, I have a good feeling for this campaign. It's feeling, it's feeling, it's coming out really well. Dipl Diplomacy-wise. But... Like I said, yes, it is a very hard campaign to play because, you know, you're 
playing with Gallic units and you got to go against, you know, the phalanx of the successor kingdoms. And it is hard. Like, it's hard to um, beat them. So we're doing good on food. So we're going to go ahead. Let's see, 250 from the cattle pens. We're going to do the cattle pens because that gives us more income. I believe we can go ahead and level up our capital to a chieftain's hall as well. So we're a little stressed on money, but it'll get better, especially, like I said, when Cappadocia decides to start moving on the uh, Mithridates up here. All right. Diplomacy. Let's go ahead and just check what's going on. Greetings, honored Military guest. access. Yep. Yeah. Defensive Your alliance. Nope. Not yet. But Pergamon has taken out Lydia, so that's really good for us. Be welcome here and, speak as and it looks like... Yeah, Lydia is pretty much destroyed, so that's good for us. All right, and we're just gonna let have Pergam let Pergamon have that little bit right there. All right, Prito, our spy has a skill. Let's go ahead and give you plus f five percent success. Let's also give you spy. All right, we're going to end the turn again. Just gotta end turns fast. Okay. Cappadocia, you need to leave, man. Get out. Let us just take your town. It's not a big deal, I swear. Just fade into nothingness. Please. The blessing of the Olympians. Why don't you like us, Sardis? We're best friends with your overlords. You. My people will fight. Come on. Give me a trade welcome, agreement. Welcome. Nope. Okay, fine. Forget you. The blessing of what the about Olympian a non-aggression pact? Okay, forget you too. Alright. I see how it is. Alright. End turn. Uh, what do you guys think of Warhammer 3? You guys like it? Do you guys like it? Do you really like it? Oh, yes. For now. For now, I'll accept a non-aggression pact. But eventually, I'm coming for you, Egypt. Eventually. You know, you act like you're better than us, you know, and take our cell swords, but you know, you won't, you know, trade with us or anything. Fine, forget you then. Your 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 time's coming. The Galatian Empire will rise. It's a new world order in the east. Alright, you really need to leave Cappadocia. Come on. Come on. Leave. Leave. They're not wanting to leave. All right. Well, let's go to details. Let's do an agriculturalist. It gives us more money for agriculture. We'll get bureaucrat for some tax rate. And I think it's a new thing with skills. You can get, th like, with a level up, there's, like, three upgrades you can get. It's pretty cool. All right. We'll get public orator because... They rearranged it that way you can get public order bonuses. Who else has a skill or champion? Do warfare. We gotta unlock militancy. We'll do strategy. Plus, you get 200 wealth gained after successful mission. And we'll do strength. Alright, Cappadocia, you really need to leave, man. Like, get out of here, please. Who are you at war with, Pontus? Where did your other full stack go? Oh, they're with Armenia. Yeah, that'll do it. All right. All right, will we trade with us now? No. Yeah, forget you. All right. Well, we can... Uh, it's a difficult situation. You're going to have to just wait for them to leave. So let's go ahead and end the turn. Because, I mean, we're not going to against that full stack of Cappadocians. 
Their infantry has more armor, has all has javelins. It's a pretty difficult situation. But I've learned that you just gotta wait for Cappadocia to leave and then you just uh Oh no No Pontus was taken out. That is tragic. That is really tragic for us, actually. So we're gonna have to go to war with uh the good old Cappadocians and we're gonna have to win. Yeah. Oh no. Oh lord. They're uh, moving into our lands. That's not good. That's not good at all. Where are you planning on going, Cappadocia? Where are you planning on going right now with this army? Spy? What do they got here? Nothing. Okay. Well, can we get some mercs? We can. If we disband these things, we can pay for some mercs temporarily to defeat this army. And then, I think what we need is Cav. Yes. And we're also going to stop building this. I mean, I understand it's kind of haphazard right now. It might not be smart. But, and we're going to go broke. But, if we could take out this army... Then we can move on to their capital city super easily. So it says we're not going to win. We're going to win this. Let's fight it. Ourselves, my fellow Trojans. All right, Spearman. Oh, jeez. Yikes. Okay, well, you're spread out super far. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Well, we have three swordsmen this side. We'll get two this side. Got our general here in the center, along with all of our archers and all that good stuff. Calvary doesn't really matter. If anything, we can just roll up one side at once. Okay, let's get it. Are you going to attack us or we got to come to you? Looks like we got to come to you. Okay, well, let's go ahead and lock our formation. All right, and let's advance. That hill is going to be tricky. You're going to have to watch out for that. See if we can send our archers and stuff forward. Try to egg them on and do advancing. Get some uh, shots off on there. Let's get our cab over here. See if we can egg them on to attack us. I mean, I think that would be the best bet. We really got to smash their flanks super fast. They are going to envelop us. Because they are stretched out far further than our troops are. Looks like they're adjusting their lines here. Hopefully our men can hold. These guys are decent. Decent mercenaries. Alright, they're advancing. They're advancing. They're advancing. Get back. Get back. Get back. Get back. Get back. Units have been discovered. Alright, send our skirmisher horsemen forward. Put them on skirmish mode. Your Cappadocian Lancers over here, ready for some charges when they commit. Alright, where you guys need to start firing on their skirmishers, like ASAP. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and wait to charge. Let's go ahead and slow us down a little bit. Okay, we're gonna charge. No, we gotta wait. We gotta wait. Don't wanna give him that hill advantage. Alright, we'll charge in now. They're holding their lines over here. So let's get our Cappadocian Lancers up and around over here. Let's charge forward. 
don't give them too much of a hill advantage here. Move these guys up. All right, let's go back to normal mode. Or we can go take out their general. Let's do that. Let's take out their general. We got one reserve unit we're gonna put over here in the center, just in case. Go hit their. Oh no! They're capturing us. They're, they're stopping us. Oh, get our lancers over here. One of our units has used all its ammunition. All right, watch your fire. Their generals coming in over here. We're winning over there. That's good. Let's get our cab over here. Let's start getting some sh flanking charges in. Let's charge into their archers here. Have our archers target them. Alright, their archers are done for. Alright, Lancers, you gotta get through here, man. Bring this other surge me up and around. Oh, they almost caught our cav. Almost. We can surround their general, we can kill him. And that would be a decent victory for us. Let's get these guys in the center here. We are getting kind of hammered. Where are they? Right there? All right, cool, let's charge them in. Their general came in. Kill him. Get our lancers out for a charge, a decent charge against our general. All right, charge in. They're trying to flank our swordsman units here. Let's give them a rally. Yeah, they're wavering there. Let's get a good charge against their general. We might lose those light cav, but there's it's worth it. If we kill that general, they're gonna they're gonna shatter. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Let's get our general in here for some charges. They might hit our archers here. Their general's dying. Their general's dying. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. General and kill this cav. Alright, their general is routing. That's good. That's awesome. Their general's gone. Pull the lancers out. Get them on some flanking charges. Come on, skirmish mode. Start getting those flanking charges in here. Let's get our general out for some flanking charges as well. Bowman, quit your firing. Lancers out. Break those freaking guys coming back. There's our timer. Oh, this is a brutal battle, guys. Gotta break that flank over there. Our men are starting to rout. Gotta start breaking them. All right, get the Lancers over here. Get you out for another charge. We actually kind of need to bring you into the center, it looks like. Let's 
All right, we need to get our general back to get some morale bonuses going on here. Charge him. Our men flee the field of battle. And you get a raised banner here in the center for sure. You got more cab coming back. All right, you're gonna have to go hold the line, archers. Looks like we're routing them slowly. All right, raise the banner. All right, we're routing them, we're routing them, we're winning, I think. It's kind of hard when you got all freaking levy units. Get ready for another charge. Charge him in the back here. Bowman charge in. Charge. Make sure they don't come back. Get out for another charge. Get out for another charge. Swordsman, charge in. Yeah, this is a difficult battle, my friends. Really get stuck in there, guys. Oh, they broke over here. Not good. Charging against them. All right, cool, cool. Charging against them. It's a difficult battle, for sure. All right, let's get you off another charge. Looks like we're hurting their morale quite a bit, but not enough. Oh, they're finally starting to route. All right, cool. Let's make sure not a lot of them escape. That would be a problem for us. Then they'll just go back to their town and replenish. And push in their flanks here. They're starting to route. Chase him down. Go that way. We got some guys that came back. Let's charge them in. Let's charge them out for a charge. Get our general ready for a charge. Go in, General. That broke him. That was a shitty charge. Starting to roll him up. Excuse me. Bring the archers out. All right, for another charge, General. All right, we've broken them here in the center. That's good. That's good news. Let's get our light horse out of there. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Get around for another charge. Inspire. All right, we managed to win. I actually don't charge into them. Charge into the back of them. Everyone, charge forward. 
Charge in. All right, we've broken them all. They are shattered. Now we just got to make sure we chase them all down. Suffered a lot of casualties. Hopefully we have enough men or enough money to recruit more men to end up winning this and going and turning their town against them and taking it. Yeah, chase down those survivors, man. You gotta chase down those survivors. It's absolutely crucial that we don't let a lot of their army regroup. All right, chase them all down. Can't let them escape. This Cappadocia and Lancers definitely were worth the money. We wouldn't have won without them. Make sure to capture as many prisoners as possible. That uh, will give us a lot more money when we release them. So we can recruit more units. Let's go and fast forward this. Ooh, full unit of 94 got away. That's not good. The glorious, victorious Galatians. All right, won the turn, close victory. We've won. We won. What's up? Ready for battle. What's up with it? Yeah! And we're going to ransom the captives. We need the money as of right now. So we're going to go over here and we're going to disband all of our mercs. Actually, and just leave those guys. Get our replenishment going here. So then we can move next turn on to their capital. I believe we'll be able to reach it next turn. Let's move down to take out this army. Make sure it's dead. There we go. Really ransom the captives. We're still replenishing, which is good. So we'll move right here. And we'll get two more levy units. Now we'll get three. And we'll probably be negative, but we'll be able to come back from that. So we'll go ahead and give them a couple of skirmishers. And that will be the end of part one of our Galatian campaign, my Trojans. So I'll see you guys in part two. Parried Trojan out.